On February 20th, 2009, um, I was taken out of my home in handcuffs. I was 12. Um, it was as a result of a, uh, a court-appointed reunification therapist, um, her report, that claimed, uh, you know, basically claimed my father was abusive when in reality he was not. And um, because of those lies, I didn't get to see my family. Um, I was taken out of the home and then basically a no contact restraining order was put in place between not just me and my dad, but me and my stepmother, my siblings, my grandmother. Uh, so I couldn't have any phone contact, email contact, uh, see them face to face for, and that went on till uh, 2013. When I was 14, so after I hadn't seen my family for two years, I knew that I had to do something. So I started making letters uh, and videos to the judge trying to explain to him that I, I just wanted to be with my family. And actually, the uh, Center for Judicial, Judicial Excellence helped uh, promote uh, the media around those videos. Um, so I wrote several letters and videos to the judge uh, trying to expose what was really going on. And I, eventually, I began just running towards my father's home. Um, you know, hoping to see him, the police would handcuff me, drag me back, and I'd go again the next day, um, just in a desperate hope to see my family again. And eventually, I was uh, woken up early in the morning by two large men that said they were taking me to Utah. And they took me to the middle of the desert in Utah, where it, I was in a group with other kids suffering from drug addiction. Um, it was basically like a rehabilitation facility in the middle of the desert where you need no shower, no bed, um, just hiking through the desert for two months. Even when I was just, you know, 14 years old, 15 years old, I, I tried to explain to these courts that I just want to be with my dad, I love my family, I want to be with them. But even at that age, I wasn't being listened to. All the, the entire you know, life-changing decision was in the hands of one person. And that's not only risky, but just, just not, a, not a right way to go about it. This uh, reunification therapist has over 50 complaints, I think even 60 complaints filed against her. Um, some of them uh, from the Board of Behavioral Sciences. So a lot of questions have been raised about this therapist's uh, ability to be uh, a reunification counselor or to actually you know, treat people and make these sort of recommendations. Um, yet, from what I understand, she still has the ability to practice, which to me is uh, sickening. The family court system is really uh, you know, gone, gone to trash. It's really terrible. There are so many problems that need to be fixed. And the, the key point is they need to be fixed soon. You know, every day, you know, there's another case, there's another child that has his family broken apart. I think this is something that really needs to be fixed uh, now.